Hello everyone, this is Aniket and in this video, I will be sharing how I got selected in Google Summer of Code 2022 in just 45 days. I started contributing into open source during Hacktober Fest of 2020. The contributions back then were not that great, you know, it was just minor bug fixes or simple documentation errors which were present in the documents. The journey took off from Hacktober Fest 2021 when I actually decided that I will try my hands on Google Summer of Code because Google Summer of Code not only helps you get into open source but it also gives you a constant mentorship for the period of time you get selected. Initially, in February of 2022, when organizations were released, I selected IHR as the organization in which I wanted to contribute. To be honest, the selection of organizations were not very easy. I started contributing to over 15 organizations in the process while I was contributing in Hacktober Fest of 2021. But none of the organizations wherein I was contributing came or rather got selected as an organization in the list that Google chose from. I was blank the initial day when Google released the list of organizations. I chose IHR on three bases. Firstly, I was comfortable with the tech stack they were using. Secondly, I was a cybersecurity enthusiast and competitive networks was pretty much was something I always wanted to learn. And thirdly, it was a first time organization. Since this was a first time organization, there were not a lot of consistent contributors who were contributing over the years and people who were already contributing were the members of IHR. I chose IHR and then moved forward. Firstly, I started fixing some automation errors and I started reading about IHR and competent networks which they required in their software segment. The workflow issues which I solved were around I would say 2 to 3 PRs but I registered myself and I motivated myself to move forward. I managed getting 10 pull requests merged in the process. Now getting 10 pull requests merged were not only just fixing documentation or automation errors. I started learning about advanced corporate networks which at that point of time IHR was using and building upon. The process when it started was very confusing. Being a undergrad majoring in electrical engineering, learning something which only researchers are learning and that too having a pure understanding of how computer computer network works was not easy. In the process, I had my friends, namely Abhas and Sumana, who helped me out, understand the process and motivated me to learn about the keywords and then again I started contributing. I started solving the issues which the members mentioned in the issue tag. I solved a couple of issues in the process, during which not only I was able to understand the code base, I was also able to contact with my mentor, Mr. Roman. Roman in the process helped me go through for different tech stacks and different project ideas which they were feeling was necessary to build in the process. In G-Shop 2022, Google made it compulsory for organizations to point out or list out the sort of project ideas they want their fellow contributors to work on. I chose the project ideas which not only I felt but even my mentor felt was of high priority. Once I was able to choose the project ideas based on the priority my organ wins felt, I started writing the proposal. Writing the proposal was not as easy as I initially thought to be. I started reading a couple of proposals from past contributors who were selected. The journey of writing a proposal also motivated me for becoming a freelance content writer. And finally, after reading a lot of project proposals, I started writing my own proposal. The proposal initially was 54 pages, 
But once I iterated with Mr. Roman, who was my mentor, it reduced to 24, which consisted of various things, starting from my introduction to the places I worked on, and most importantly, the timeline, the tech stacks, which I was will be using, and then what all features I will be building along with the course snippets of them. So that consisted of me submitting the proposal on April of 4th. Meanwhile, I was part of the private Slack workspace wherein I was asking a lot of questions and even I helped a lot of new contributors get onboarded with the project. On April of 4th, 2022, I submitted my final proposal. And once I submitted, I even kept on contributing to understand the code base further. So by February 2022, I started just by selecting the organization. In the process, till April 4th, I was not only their GitHub member, I was also the Slack member who was helping other fellow contributors get onboarded with the project. So this was how I got selected in Google Summer of Code in just 45 days. I hope that you get selected in Google Summer of Code this year or the year you are planning for. I will be posting regular contents 